As you can tell, today's video is not about Warzone whatsoever, but it's something that I thought you guys would still enjoy. Not too long ago, Drifter was looking for YouTube channels to review, so I dropped my link and I was fortunate enough to get the channel reviewed. Whether you like or hate this guy, he's been doing YouTube for over a decade now, so he has a lot of unique insight to offer. A lot of the people who were reviewed that night got completely torn apart, but I don't want to spoil what happened with ours. I also want to make this video to thank you guys for 5k subs. I never thought I would get here, or at least as quickly, so thank you. Uh, there's a lot more on the way, and I have a lot more to say at the end, but for now, enjoy a Drifter's review of our channel. Uh, so this is Wetzel's channel, four and a half subs. Uh, his... The thumbnail banner, I it looks good in the sense that it lets me know it's Call of Duty themed. It's not good in the sense in that you don't stand out. I, you probably need like a unique logo and a little bit of love on that. Uh, you've got your social links here. That all works. Let's look at the About Me page. I'm Wetzel. Make videos to entertain. Okay. Um, so you made the same mistake that Modern Warzone did. You need a lot more search terms in this. You need to write these paragraphs as if they are search terms. A lot of Call of Duty, a lot of... Uh, Warzone, COD, Cold War advice, YouTuber stream, blah, blah, blah. Just all the search search terms you can put in here. Uh, channels is fine. Community posts. Oh, my man saw that video. I like this. Wetzel, you're doing this right. Oh, I like this. Wetzel sucks. Dude, that's great. You're doing good on this one, man. Okay. Yeah, you're using this community tab. This is fucking beautiful. See, that's this posting stupid shit like this is exactly how you're supposed to use the tab. So, you're doing good. I have nothing bad to say about that at all. Playlists uh, are fine. Let's look at your videos. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit since we're doing thumbnail reviews. If I can get my shit from not crashing, that'd be great. All right, let's look at your thumbnails. Better than the Mac 10. Fastest weapon XP. Bot lobbies. Uh, a lot of these are really good. They're very similar to the thumbnails that I make. I do like this one a lot because you've got the guy, the you can clearly tell it's right in the background, but it's faded. You have the text on top. It's easy to read. This one's really good. The full guide, how to open, arrow, get the gun. You even have a check mark over the door. Uh, this one's really good, except I would have made the other MP5 have a camo on it. Best juggernaut kills. Yeah, these are really good thumbnails, Wetzel. These are very good. I have These are actually better than some of the thumbnails that I have on my channel, and I fucking pay for mine. Uh, some of that's because I can't see colors and I'm working with another person, but that is great. I'm out for a while so I can do this. So your thumbnails are top tier, dude. Top tier. We're going to watch a video. Uh, okay, turn the audio back on. Really good. No oh, ads. Love it. Today's video is all about the bullfrog. Recently, it's... This is really good. I like your frame. I like the shading. I like that the gameplay in the background is faded. I'd have faded it a little bit less. I'd have made it a little bit more obvious that's gameplay. We've got our three or four different sections going on here. Audio quality seems good. It's becoming very popular. It's been recommended to me by a bunch of viewers. When you said popular, you said popular and popped. You got to be a little careful. You got a really soft piece. And it's supposedly. Oh, I like up this. I like this up in the corner SMG too. This Warzone. is really solid. So in this video, we'll be doing three different things. First, we will compare it to the Mac 10. What's better? What's worse? I need to Second, zoom out a little bit. About the attachments, because a lot of attachments don't do what they say, and some have secret buffs or debuffs. And then lastly, I'll be giving you my recommended setup. And of course, this video has timestamps. So if you're just looking for a certain, uh, this website is. However, one thing else to consider with the the bullfrog. The last thing to consider is a general... But so you've got really good audio quality for your voice and the balance on the weapons. Okay, let's see how we're doing in the description. I share the best Warzone Bullfrog class setup. That's perfect. And I give... Can you guys hear my dog barking? Is that a thing? He's going cray cray right now. Uh, tips, zero recoil Bullfrog. Uh, also compare the Warzone... Got to get your caps, man. All these caps are a little screwed. Got to got to do cap proper capitalization. Yeah, uh, proper capitalization can make you look more uh, professional. So you're doing pretty good on that. You could you could definitely SEO a little bit more on these, but we're looking good. Uh, spacing is a little extreme on those social medias. You got your hashtags. Mm, looks like there is something you didn't do. You didn't tag what game you're playing. Now it knows what game you're playing. But I, on my channel, I always tag the game. Okay. 
Um, that's looking really solid. Wetzel, I'm going to check out one more of your videos. I'm ready to sign off on you. You don't post enough at all. Wetzel, every day. Whatever you're doing here with this, you have to do this every day. You can't... These videos are really nice looking. The thumbnails are really nice. The information looks good. You can't post four videos a month in, in the Call of Duty community. This is the game that requires... This, this requires daily posting. Level up guns fast, Warzone, multiplayer, rank up weapons in Warzone. My God, video, what a title. You guys will learn how to Good intro again. Video. Are... And a lot of times you don't even have to get out of the helicopter to complete them. You could just dunk the helicopter on top. Or if you're in like a car or vehicle or something like that, you could just drive by it. And the thing is, even though you're inside the vehicle. As... Yeah, man, this is looking good. Wetzel, your channel's looking really good. I'm going to let you know. And yeah, choosing the game matters. Wetzel, it's really solid what you've done. Uh, Wetzel, you're in good shape. If you could increase your volume, you're going to get more subs, I guarantee you. So that is Drifter's review. Over a decade of experience and a million and a half subscribers trying to find everything wrong, everything that I can prove on with my channel. And if you made it this far in the video, I would like a review from you. It doesn't have to be a video, no. But just leave a comment, take like a minute, and just tell me what you like or don't like with the channel, and I'll do my best to work on it. The biggest problem that I struggle with is a consistent upload schedule. Uh, right now, I'm getting out a video a week, and it's mostly because I have a very tough time finding topics about Warzone that haven't been covered yet. At this point, Warzone's almost a year old. We're playing on the same map, same engine, a few new mechanics like armor plates and different contracts, the ropes, uh, and then we also have the 30 Black Ops guns that we're adding. And with the Cold War guns, all the stat nerds like J-God, Ace, and True Game Data already covered those, so it's very hard to find something unique that I could stand out with. I felt like the Net Duma video that I did was something that was finally unique to my channel and uh, something that you really couldn't find on anyone else's. But stuff like class setups and spectating randoms and like tips of Warzone, like that's already been covered. It's really hard to be unique with that no matter how good of a guide you make. Uh, so for that reason, I've just been really stuck with videos and only uploading like once or twice a week. When I make a video, I try to make it extremely relevant to the game while also being something that's not covered by other content creators. Second of all, the channel hit 5k subs and I'm so proud. I kind of picked up this YouTube stuff last summer because streaming was just not going in a great direction. I felt like the same as everybody else, just turning on a Warzone stream, camera box in the lap and just grinding out 20 viewers for the rest of my life. Uh, so I felt like YouTube, I could demonstrate more value. I could teach, I could entertain and do all that and grow a better community. So whether you're someone who watched me on Mixer two years ago, or someone who found me on Twitch in the past month, or someone who found me on YouTube in the past week, thank you. I'm really proud of how far we've come and I can't wait to see what the future holds. That's all I really have to say. Thank you again and until next time. Peace.